So far, we've talked about a great truck, great chassis, but what's holding all that up? Well, let's talk about the axles and driveline. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this week. This week, we are gonna cover a lot of the drivetrain axles, and not only just that, but wheels, tires, and things of that nature, because there is a difference in what's spec'd on these trucks. That being said, I'm already here. Let's start up at the front. Front end on this, it's an 18,000 pound front end. Now that's front axle, front suspension, including the springs, things of that nature. Now, it uses a wider base front tire. That helps you get in off-road situations without sinking down. But this being a 315 width tire, it's not so wide that you start to lose wheel cut because we wanna make sure that you can still turn with this. These tires are wrapped around polished Alcoa wheels. Now, this isn't just for the bling factor to make this look good. You save a ton of weight, especially when we've got four axles worth of wheels. That weight adds up. Now, saving that weight means you can stick more back there, not have to worry about the DOT scales. Inside of those wheels, we've got drum brakes. Now, one other touch that basically happens with every truck that we have we put these on here. You never know when you're gonna to toss a lug nut. And I know a, an inspection or a pre-trip inspection or anything like that, you're supposed to go around and check them all by hand. Well, if it's only hand tight, it's coming off. This, you know when any one of those is gonna come off. You know when it's starting to get loose. It's preventative. It's that extra step, it's, yep, the experience that premier difference. We want to make sure that not only are you effective, but safe. Let's go back a step and we'll talk about the pusher axle here next because there is some great stuff with that too. So now as we work our way back, like I said, the pusher axles on this. This is a true 20,000 pound pusher. Rated for it, stated for it, the whole nine yards. That way you can make sure that you're never going to have an over axle either. On this, once again, we've got the Alcoa Ultra One wheels here. It's got that nice bright polish to it, makes it look good. The biggest thing is, is it's gonna be that weight savings with it. Now, on top of that, this is a steerable pusher axle, meaning it uses the caster of the axle to keep it straight when you're going down the road, but when you're going around a turn, it will actually turn those wheels. There's springs and shocks basically on a tie rod setup that allow it to move back and forth as you turn. Now, the big advantage to that is A, is it makes it so you don't lose ability to turn in terms of wheelbase wise. It also reduces tire scrub, both on these and on those. So you're gonna get longer, better tire life out of them. Now, something else that the pusher axle does that's real nice too, is as soon as you put it in reverse, this comes up that caster that allows it to turn in the front and stay lined up with the front wheels when you're going forward works great, but not when you're going in reverse. They'll wanna fold over. So put it in reverse, it automatically comes up. So that way you're not gonna have an issue there. These are a great way to add that load carrying capacity to the truck. Now we've got twins right behind me here. So let's go talk about that. So when it comes to the rear axis and suspension, let's face it, this is where the business happens. All the power in the world up front doesn't mean anything if you can't get it to the road back here. So that's why we've got the Mac differentials in here. Those differentials are known for being super strong, super durable, and they're just gonna probably outlast, I would say the apocalypse. That top loader design has worked well for years. Mac has stuck with it, refined it. It's just a great thing. Now, if we go further out to what's holding everything up, this uses the Camelback suspension. Big arched leaf spring that goes between the front and the rear with a radius arm coming in from the side to make sure everything's tracked straight side to side. Gives you really good articulation front to back, side to side. What that means for you is less likelihood of getting stuck when you're in an off-road situation. A Little bit off camber, going over some bumps. We all know some of the gravel areas where people put some of these containers or even some of the muddy areas where people want these containers. You gotta be able to get in and out without getting stuck. 
and that suspension does that. The other part about that is, is that ability to move over bumps allows it to give you a comfortable ride up front too. Now, if you do happen to get into that sticky situation, both the power divider and the differentials in terms of the locking mechanisms on them are controlled from inside the cab. Make sure everything stops spinning, hit the switch, away you go. As we move further out, we have once again the Alcoa polished wheels on this. Not just for the looks, but as I said before, to help save that weight. We've got Bridgestone M713 tires out here, long lasting, durable tire that works great in these vocational type applications. Once again, we've got all the pointing arrows inside there too. Now, the other suspension option that is available in some cases is the Mac M Ride suspension newer suspension that Mac has. Once again, it even steps up that articulating a little bit further. It plays off of that traditional design of the Camelback that Mac has had for years though. Now we've talked about the suspension, we've talked about the axles, everything that's carrying the entire truck down the road. Next week, we're gonna talk about the body and tarp system. What actually carries the load? Make sure you subscribe and like this so that way you know when that comes up. Got a question on something, by all means leave that in the comments. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next week.